Hey guys, welcome back to Kiwana's Kitchen. I'm Kiwana. For those of you that are new here, welcome. My name is Kiwana. In today's video, I'm going to share with you all on how you can make the most delicious Mexican candy ever. Some dirty worm slash pico pico slash dolce enchilados. Guys, when I say this candy is so good, you have to give it a try. So, if you want to see how I make them, keep watching. guys real quick we're gonna go over everything we need to make our Mexican candy I have some extreme airhead belts here these are so good they are like my all-time go-to candy. I ain't gonna even say that I'm, I ain't gonna even say that because <laughs> I have so many favorite candies but this right here is definitely one of them so um, I ain't gonna even lie to y'all like that so um, yeah we have these we have some gummy worms that we are going to need as well. Again, you can use what you want. You can use gummy bears. You can use the little peach rings. You can use the watermelon candies. You can pretty much use any gummy candy that you want. And here I have my whisk. We're going to need a whisk because we need to kind of beat this powdered sugar. I have one cup of powdered sugar, which we are going to need as well because that chamoy is very, very sour and um yeah you definitely want something to sweeten it up so we're also going to need some of this lucas mango candy this right here is like that powdered candy um if you guys remember like the straw where you got to rip off the top and pour it in your hand and just lick 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 that pretty much is what this is right here this is so good okay so so good and it has a bit of a kick to it so if you like a little heat in your candy um yeah this is definitely that and it ain't too you know too too strong or spicy but um yeah guys it is so good and um just like with the um straws you just kind of rip off the top with this right here you just kind of twist that off and pour it in your hand and just lick it guys and like i said this is so good if you guys have not tried this or well people that are not you know mexican or whatever um because this is mexican candy so i'm pretty sure you guys have tried it but those who haven't guys i would say definitely give this a try if you like candy that is if not just go ahead and do what you do but these are so good and i actually got these from walmart they came in a set of 10 so um you can see here we are missing four my daughter loves these things and they're very very cheap they're like two dollars and um ten cents or two dollars and ten cents two dollars and like 30 37 cents or something like that and you get 10 of these little jars second we are gonna need some tahine and of course some chamoy and this right here is like my all-time go-to because it is so good and that color you see that color right there guys that right there lets you know that this chamoy is authentic because they have some out there where the color is like brown and um yeah it's not true chamoy sauce okay chamoy true chamoy couldn't even get that out it's like a tongue twister true chamoy is very very red okay like a vibrant red color so that's what you're looking for so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started and start to put this mexican candy together Okay guys, so in the bowl here that I have my powdered sugar in, I'm going to start to try to attempt to break down some of those pieces of the powdered sugar. I don't know where my sieve is. You guys know if you have a sieve, you can run the powdered sugar through it and you'll end up with a very fine powder. But again, I don't know where mine is, so I have my whisk here to kind of help out with the process of breaking down that powdered sugar. I'm now adding in my chamoy sauce. I'm going in with one cup total of chamoy sauce. I'm not going to add any more. Um, like I always say, you can definitely adjust these ingredients to your liking from what I saw in the other videos they use way more of the ingredients that I'm sharing with you guys here but again I just adjusted it to my liking so I got my whisk and just gave it a good mix and you guys can see the pieces of the powdered sugar all throughout the chamoy sauce okay so I just continued to whisk it a bit to kind of break down some of those pieces so I then popped this into the microwave for about 15 minutes and it worked out perfect because 
because it did take out a lot of the clumps of the powdered sugar but it still had some in there but it, it's fine so what I did was I started to go in with my other ingredients I added in my tahine I went in with one tablespoon of tahine so like I said guys from what I saw in the videos they use way more than one tablespoon of tahine and um you guys know tahine kind of got that citrusy um look with a kick to it but um again i just added in one tablespoon so if you want to add in more definitely do that so now i'm gonna go in with my mango lucas and guys when i say this little jar here is packed with powder oh my god it is packed with powder okay i'm only going to use half of that and look at how much came out of that i want to say that's about two tablespoons of that mango lucas that i added into my recipe here and um i just gave that a good mix as well but like i said i only paid like two dollars and 37 cents for that at walmart and it came in a pack of 10 and that was for that mango lucas powder and if you guys are wondering how that tastes it's like a spicy sweet taste it's spicy and sweet i think it's like cayenne pepper along with some other kind of sweetness that they have in there but um yeah i got that mixed in i then went in with my gummy worms and then i added in my airhead belts okay for those of you that know about the airhead belts you already know you got to break those apart they're like already pre-cut but you just have to pull them apart so i just got those in there and then i got them coated in that chamoy sauce mixture and um yeah guys i did not add in all of the gummy worms that i wanted to add in there um i did eventually go in with some more and i gave it a good mix as well now like i told you guys from what i saw in the videos they add way more of the chamoy the tahini the um mango lucas um and they, some even use tamarindo um in there i think i said it right tamarindo like a sauce or whatever but i just didn't want to add that in here but um yeah i just got those coated as well gave it a good mix and i let these sit a bit before um yeah me and my daughter split this up because you guys already know how my son get down and he was not going okay so um yeah i just made enough for me and my daughter and these will last you a while so um yeah guys that is pretty much it if you guys are into the sweet spicy tangy type candies i would definitely say give these a try but until then i hope you guys did enjoy my video if you did please give my video a thumbs up support my channel by subscribing and until next time you guys take care